Hey everyone, it's Mrs. Bear again. There is another step that I need to show you for your portfolio artifacts and uploads. This is a really important step that you cannot forget. If you don't do this step, nobody outside of yourself and the teacher who gave you it are going to be able to see your artifacts once your portfolio goes live. So you need to change the sharing properties of every document that you are given because there is no guarantee that your teacher has given you a document that everyone can view. In addition, if you upload an image, you don't have to worry about this because the image will show. But for the documents that you pull from Google Drive, you need to make sure to change the sharing settings. So I'm doing this straight from my portfolio today. So I'm going to do two of the documents. I'm going to do the Google Doc and I'm going to show you how to do this for the PDF as well. So the first thing, I'm just going to grab one of the documents here right here and I double clicked on this so I could get just the document. I'm going to open it in a new window. Once I have the document open, I am going to come over here to where it says share. I'm going to click on it and wait for it to come open. Then you will notice that it says down here who has access to it. Well, right now, only the student and the group of creative writing teachers have access to it. So we need to click over here where it says Get Shareable Link. So we're going to click that. Then this is going to come up. See how it says anyone at Denver Public Schools with a link can view? That means that no one outside of DPS can view this, and that just won't work. We need everyone to be able to view it because sometimes your teachers or other people might view it from a different email account. So they need to have direct access. So if we click the little arrow, this will come up. We're still not to where we need to be, so click more. Then here is where we need to be. You're going to find the one that says anyone with the link. So click on anyone with the link and then click Save. That's all there is to changing the share properties on a Google Doc. See, anyone with a link can view it. Then click Done. You're good to go. You can close that down. Now the PDF has an additional kind of step, so let's open it first and foremost. Same way, double click on it, then click the little um, open a new window icon. We're going to come over here to where it shows the three little dots, more actions. Click on that. Share is the first thing. And then the process is pretty much the same thing, except for we don't have to click get shareable link. We'll just go straight here, click more, click anyone with the link, then click save. And you are good to go click out of that and now I can prove that anyone can view this. I'm going to show you how I know anyone can view these. So I'm going to copy the published link right here, copy it, then I'm going to come down here to a different email account. I'll go to my Firefox. Then, so you'll see, I am not logged in as Mrs. Bear, I'm logged in as Mrs. Bear. So I'm going to copy and paste. So I'm going to paste the link right there, click it. And now over here, see the difference here? I can see the thumbnail here and here I can't. If I open this one, ah, nothing happens because the sharing properties are wrong. But if I click this one, da -da -da, ta -da! I can see what my student wrote. So that's all there is to it. So please make sure that you do this so I get this and not this. All right, same thing with the PDF. You can see, see, there it is. There's the grade that the student gave himself. Everything is fantastic. All right, that's everything for today. I'm going to just click out of here and I'm going to let you guys get back to your regular scheduled pro.